the world of light can only be felt by the soul. So means that when the recitations and the power of recitation is that to relax yourself and open your ears. Open the hearing and let the sound and the praise and the love begin to enter into the ear. When you can relax yourself and find a sense of tranquility with yourself, this qudra will begin to move into the ears. When it moves into the ears, this is the door of the soul. The eyes is the window of the soul. So it means that we are the people of samina wa we hear and we obey. So there is a tremendous reality upon the faculty of hearing and that shaitan locks the hearing. His whole interest for insan is to lock their ears, then lock their eye and put a khiswa over their heart so that the servant becomes blind to any type of reality. So this amal is an amal of muhabbat and love, it needs no, no intention because the hadith is long. And the angels asked at the end of all this barakah that you described, Ya Rabbi, what if somebody is just walked in and sat with them and not from them, not from their, their teachings, not from their background, not from anything. And Allah Lord Almighty said, even they sat for five minutes with them, I'm dressing them with everything. There was no intention. Even the criminal, the worst criminal on earth walk through the door now but we don't really want that right now as a <laughs> test but God, God is saying that circle is so powerful that the circles of praise and the angels that are attending and the, the power of that reality is so powerful that when they sit the immensity of the energy that coming and all you have to do is just relax, let the energy enter into your ear. Let that energy move onto the soul and begin to vibrate the soul begin to, to move and to free the soul from the nafs and the grip that the body is trying to put upon so that you can feel and become a person, a paradise reality, a person whom is operating from their paradise reality from the malakut, not the people of dunya. You can be religious dunya, don't think on dunya is only going to Las Vegas. Dunya and people of dunya they can be religious dunya. That all of their dogma, their practices is all zahiri, all external. There's no difference. For awliyaullah is as if dunya person, what's the difference? You're not taking the fruit and the light and the reality of what God Almighty Allah is, is offering to us. So then He sends those whom have been trained from malakut and they are paradise people, paradise realities, they teach and they operate from that reality. And what Allah mala, malakut kulli shay, that that reality of paradise is the all-encompassing power of everything manifesting. I have to use Islamic terms for our Muslim brothers and sisters and non-Islamic terms for people who are coming in new. So we have to keep trying in our mind to switch between the two. It means your atomic reality controls your form. If your atomic reality is off and your energy is off, the form will be warped. In six directions your form is being secured by Allah In front of you, to the right of you, to the left of you, behind you, above you and below you. And what Allah described of evilness and shaitan, I'm going to attack them from any of these six directions to throw their, their wholeness and their common and perfectedness to be off. So means then all these practices are to bring that energy, to bring that reality. That, my Lord I'm understanding that if my inside is good, the outside will begin to become perfected. But now the world is more like a Facebook and Instagram, the outside perfected, inside rotten, inside rotten. Because you can, you can make a cake, what's that stuff that they make the cake really beautiful? Yeah, the icing and they put it all beautiful, they can make it like it look like a shoe or a personality but inside is a garbage rubbish cake inside. It doesn't matter because nobody's going to bite it and eat it. So then this world is now all about that. The perfection of the exterior 
but inside this hollow or, or rotten with bad character. So the turuqs come to teach, no, no, Allah wounds from malakut that give a power to your soul. If your soul is receiving power it will begin to perfect everything on the outside. But if you perfect your outside and your soul has no energy it's of no value to Allah whatsoever. Because our many hadiths they come with all their charity Allah take them away, they come with all their praying Allah take them away. Means that what, what matters for the Divine is that which is eternal and that which is eternal is the soul. So then these practices are soul food, they're food and an energy for the soul. And all we have to do is just take the look off the ear and feel the vibration, feel the praising. Let it to begin to enter into the ear and to begin to move the heart and move the soul inshaAllah. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.